Hello everybody, I'm a rainbow. The first thing I'd like to say is this video is intended for brand new players to a township tale. If you've been playing a while, you already know everything that's in this video. This is basically my first two days on a brand new server for me that hasn't really been developed. I've gotten a lot of questions about where things are and how to get there, so I took this and compressed it down as much as I could, and I tried to show you some of these things. I don't cover everything, but just those first two days. I show you how to get into Worm Canyon, the back way into the blacksmith so you don't have to build the stairs, how to get the limestone bridge built quickly so you can get into the Gotera lands and pass them into the bandit lands where you can find some more good loot. We'll do all that, plus a bunch of other tips, and hopefully this will help new players out. I've indexed it pretty well in the comments, so you don't have to watch the whole thing if you're looking for something specific. I'm trying to help you out, not grind it out. Hopefully there's something in here for everybody, and you'll walk away just a little bit wiser. I'm a rainbow. I appreciate everybody who takes the time to watch. Thank you very much. Y'all be good. One of the first things that you want to concentrate on building is this bridge right here. It takes 250 limestone, which is the white rock. It's easy enough to find. There's a batch of it down here, but you have to mine it. So you need some tools. You can do that with rusty tools, but I'm going to show you the secret ways that help you get around. So we're right here. Town's right there. We're going to the Dust Bowl. It says training grounds here, but when we go up to the top of the hill, we'll see that it says Dust Bowl. So you see training grounds that way, Dust Bowl that way. We're going to the Dust Bowl. If you're new, uh, you want to find these loot drops and you want to find the ones that are easy to get to. They have all kinds of stuff in them. Don't get anything unless you think you really need it. Now, buckles might be good to start with, but I've got limited space and I'm going to go loot. I want to go hit more of these loot boxes and find some good stuff. This is the Dust Bowl right here. All right. You notice that black rock back there? We're going to take care of that because I picked up some fireworks already. Now, there will be in here, he's right there, a worm. We're just going to ignore the worm for right now. So he's way over there. We're going to let him do his thing. I'm going to get a firework. Now, you can light these with any kind of weapon, and we're going to use the firework to take out that black rock. So, notice it's gone, and we can now get in here, and there's a whole area back here. This is actually better for chopping wood than any place else. And you can get back in here and get to all this. And there are a whole bunch of loot drops. There are crystal worms, and we were gonna we're gonna find them. There are worms, I should say, not necessarily crystal worms. First one is back here at the back of the canyon. I'm gonna go to this one deliberately because the first time you go back here, the the first kind of worm that's gonna show up is gonna be a crystal worm. And I'm just going to run because that he will show up the first time you come back here. So if you go back down and you wait, you go back. All kinds of good stuff here. Dynamite. We want dynamite. Uh, Crystal Worm stays until you defeat him the first time, I assume. We're going to ignore that, though, and let him stay there. Worms will also show up down here. We're going to go up. I'm just basically going to avoid the worms as much as possible because we see Bill's stairs here. We're going to go across this bridge. And you notice worm popped up. They're not messing. They can't keep up with you right now. You've got, you've got speed on them. So you can run around them, avoid them. You don't have to engage with them. You can. 
not telling you not to but we're looking for stuff we can use like buckets buckets are important and i need a real weapon so which i don't have but there's a bucket right here this is a sword a blade for a sword that we can make if we get to the uh blacksmith so i'm going to discard that up oh, and see there's the worm easy enough to avoid just stay away from them let them throw stuff at you grab what you want and get out once you run away a little bit they will just go back in the ground now this whole canyon has if i count right let's see one two three four five six loot drops in it now this looks like you can't get up it that's not true go right here go up here and you're there you may have to raise your height notice the worm you don't have to bother with it so notice there's a worm right there this is rock they will not show up in this area right here you can come over and hit this loot drop at your leisure Take your time, have lunch, wait for them to go away. All right. And we've got some fireworks I'm going to take because fireworks we can use as explosives. See, I've already picked up some. So I'll be able to make a sword with this. I need a handle that I can find. Handles are good to pick up early on, too. I'm going to discard the torch, pick up the handle. And there's a box over there. I'm going to go to that. Worms will show up. I'm just going to run around them. Oh, see, there's one right there already. So, oop, there's two. Oop, that one got me. I'm going to wait till I get some health back. And just run past so you can outrun them i'm just going to go over here and wait them out and then we're going to go up and keep going up i'll drop back down they'll be ready to come back up fairly quickly hit the stairs there you go See, they pop back up, but you're free and clear. Now, there's another loot box over there that we can get to. I'm going to hit that on the way back. We'll just keep going up. Notice another rock. You can actually climb around this one. We're going to use our fireworks. You don't have to have dynamite, but dynamite is always helpful. Wait till it burns down. Let her go. Boom. Now, there's no worms up here. There's trees you can chop if you need to. Loot box you can get to. Oh, brilliant. Up, ah, see, this is what we need. Handle for a sword. And I'm going to have to, oh, put that right there. We'll call that good. Teleport potions. Teleport potions are good. Wow. I'm going to discard the grass. Get the handle. Grab that. And I'm going to take a teleport potion with me. I don't know where I'm going to put it, though. What do I want to discard? Flint. I can get flint back. Just leave those there. Also, one thing to note, teleport potions are here, so you can refill them. This is if you have an empty bottle. You take this thing out. So it's empty. Pick it up. You got a teleport potion again. We can just throw it in our pack pack. It also works with gourds. So if you get a gourd, we're going to hit that last loot drop over there.
and we are out of here. So we didn't have to fight any worms. We just avoided them. All right, this is the other entrance right here. There's the mine path up. So if you come down from the mine, grab yourself another firework. Let's ignite it. Just let it burn for a second. Let it go. As soon as it hits, it goes off. And once again, you'll notice there's more limestone here, which you can use for the bridge. All right, notice a blacksmith. This is the blacksmith. And if on a new server, they, this bridge won't be a brand new server. This uh, staircase here will not be here. So, but this is the way that you can get in and get to the blacksmith um, before you have a chance to build those stairs, which is advantageous because we can take things that we've looted and actually get ourselves up to speed. So I'm going to save, I keep the fireworks, I'll save the dynamite. I wish I had a better hammer, but I don't, but I'm going to make a weapon out of this thing. And we have a real sword. We can actually kill a worm or something with this bad boy. While it's dark, I'm going to go ahead and mine limestone from the back entrance to the blacksmith and up and around the mine. That should give me most of what I need to finish building up the uh, limestone bridge, and the rest of it I can get from down by the limestone bridge itself. All right, here we go. So I've been here less than a day, and... I've gone and looted Worm Canyon. Now I'm going to come down here. And the next place that you want to open up, um, we've gotten to the blacksmith. I was able to craft a sword. It's copper, but hey, it works. The next thing we want to do is open this up. You notice it takes 250. Now, the path behind the, when I opened up the blacksmith and then the limestone up by the mine. gets me to 190, so I only need 60 limestone left. I did manage to find a pickaxe, so there's probably enough limestone here for me to get the rest of the way. I need 60. All right, so I've gotten just from the limestone down here, I got another 50, 62, and the bridge gets built. Brilliant. And now we have access to the woodcutters area and the bandit lands and the Gotira lands down there. And look at this nice shield. It'll always be waiting right here for you. And I'm actually going to take this with me. Because I think, did it go in my pack? Oh, it went in my pack. I'm going to take it with me. Now, if I was doing this right now and i am just gonna see what time we got oh yeah
you can see the map is in there. You can see whether we haven't opened this up yet. Let's open this up. We've ex said, hey, there's something there. They always put this point of interest there that you haven't seen yet. Uh, shrine, something like that. This is the woodcutter's hut. Has a book in it. Shows you how to chop wood, basically. Um, I'm not sure if it ever has anything more than that. This bridge right here will take you across. This will get you Now, just to let you know, you can cut across this water. There's a back way into the canyon. You can go back there. There's actually some blueberry bushes in there. This axe will always be here the first time you're here, which seems like it's great. You could chop wood with it, and you can, so it'll save you some time. Next thing is, you see that? That will get you almost straight into the Bantlands without ever having to mess with some Gokteras, and hopefully we'll be able to do that because I'm going to run through and we're looking for buckets because we need lead for this as part of the thing. Now, the Gokteras, they're all in here, and I'm just going to stand here, but we are not going to fight them. We are just going to go, 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 all right, because right now we're not loaded down with anything, so we're just going to run. And this might seem a little scary, but the worst thing they're going to do is, is get you. So just run. You don't have to stop. You don't have to do anything. There'll be more here. Stay out of the water. The water will slow you down. Run around and keep going. Whole bunch of water. Go tears here. Try to hit the lily pads. You'll be faster on the lily pads than not. And just keep going. There is a loot box up there, but we won't worry about any of that there. There's actually two more up by the Gotiras. Now, there'll be some Gotiras up here. You notice there's a loot box up there. We can ignore these guys as well. I'm just going to run by and show you where we're at. Oh, and there's an eggplant tree right there. Always good. Good to find those eggplants, a uh, good one to plant. It's 100%. So this is the area we were looking at down from below. Once you build these stairs, it makes it much easier to just bypass the Goteras if you don't feel like dealing with them. And let's take a look. We need five lead, 150 timber, and 25 grass. The first two are easy to get. The last five are hard. Um, and but we'll see what we can do so now we're going to go hit the bandit lands we're going to just run by you can hit those loot boxes if you want oh wow even tomatoes right here that's cool so they will do damage if they hit you enough this is the bandit lands now from where we're standing right here where you come in from the goteras there's a camp on the top of the hill. There's one at the below the hill. Up on the uh, ledge up there as you're going up, there'll be two Goteras, but that's the only thing you'll face over here unless you find a phantom at night. This is a good place to go phantom hunting. Phantoms will show up here. There's a, any of those pointy tree, tall pointy trees, kind of redwoody looking. Those are bandit camps. There's another bandit camp there. There's another bandit camp here. I'm going to go to the far bandit camp right now. Now, bear in mind, this is all just getting you access to loot boxes because that is probably the fastest way to get up and running. I'm going to hit this map over here because every time we expand the map is a good thing. You see where that you can see the section you haven't been in if you hit that. There we go. You're, you're always the X, but you can see other people on there. There's the farthest back bandit camp. The nice thing about this is over in this area, we don't see them yet. There'll be some sort of vegetation you can eat. Might be apple tree, might be eggplant, could be pumpkins. They'll, there's always something back here. Oh, so we got blueberries and a whole bunch of pumpkins. Uh, those are the pumpkin plants. There's no pumpkins in them yet, but we know where we can get those from now.
when you get to the bandit camp, you can knock these things out of the way if you're when they come in. This one actually has four chests that you can loot. So we're not looking for anything in particular right now other than things that, that are, might be be useful going forward. Oh, come here, you. All right. Oop. How I dropped my fireworks I will take. Handle for a sword I will take. Because better weapons are always a good thing. So you notice there's some wood here. So if we have to make make some space, um, let's see. Rather than chopping wood, I'm going to grab any wood that I find, throw in my pack, on my back, and take that take that with us. Also, these crates right here, you can chop them. They have stuff in them. Boy, I'm not used to having to hit these a couple of times. Other servers, I'm already built up, so, but still. Let's take a look. There can be anything from weapons in here to just food. Um, a lot of stuff, these mushrooms you can eat. Good food. Don't give you a whole lot, but better than nothing. Chicken that you can eat if you need to cook it. All right, we're going to run across. You see, that's the middle bandit camp we ran back when we came over here. We're going to stop and go past over here because there is always some sort of vegetation in this area, too. We've got a potato plant, which are super glitchy, carrot, and an onion. I'm just going to leave them. You can actually eat the carrot and the onion if you need to. You cannot plant them. All right, since it's here, these areas right here, if you have a shovel, you can dig. They will give you something. It could be ore, could be gold, could be all kinds of stuff. All right, we've got some gold, we've got some coal, we got a, a cauldron, which could be useful, especially if you want to break it up, but right now I don't have the space for it. And there's only one uh, loot chest in here. Most of the other camp, that camp at the bottom of the hill only has one. And random spriggle, in case you need it. This area right here always has some sort of vegetation. Eggplants. Eggplants are, are great. They're 100%. If you plant them, they're easy to plant generally. Tomatoes, pumpkin, another pumpkin. Pumpkins, when you have a full-grown pumpkin, get, may give you a lot of food. So those are, those are useful. Oh, kunai. Kunai's a good, I've already got a weapon. Otherwise, kunai's are nice to have. They make reasonably good weapon. All right. So, going to take that wood. Going to take this dynamite. The rest I'm going to leave. Oh, leather would be good for a backpack. I just don't have any space right now. And don't forget to look in the tent. Oh, arrows are good. I'm going to leave all that. We're going to move on. Now, there's one more area down in the bandit lands that has vegetation. I'm hoping it'll have an apple tree. Apple trees are the best. Oh, no apple trees. Dang it. Lots of pumpkins here. So pumpkins are our, oh, the apple tree. It just took a minute for it to manifest. So remember when you find an apple tree because you're going to want to come back to it. All right. You're at this camp. You can see if you're having a hard time looking at the map, that was the first one we hit in the, go the bandit lands. Far one back, one in the middle, one we just came from. One we're going to over here. Bucket. We were looking for a bucket. So, and there's a kunai right here. So I'm going to take this bucket, throw it on the ground, grab this kunai. I was going to do exactly that because breaking up a bucket gives you two iron and three wood. And we will take it all. I'm going to have to give something up to make space. Uh-oh. 
All right, the sun's going down. We don't want to be caught out here at night. This is the area I talked about where there'll be a couple of goteras. I'm going to hit the map and just, oh, he's right here. Well, this might be painful. Now I'm going to run. Notice there's some pumpkin up here. Oh, and an apple tree. So if he sees you, they'll run after you or plant. There we go. And once they plant, you can get, get away. <gasps> Look at this. Amazing. We found a heart plant already. Heart plant. I love the heart plant because um, you can just pick it. And let's watch our. We got extra health now on our on our health, and, and it's a permanent effect. All right, so bandit camp here, path down. There's another place down here at the bottom where you can build a bridge that takes you back toward town and the blacksmith. We're not going to hit that. We are going to hit the camp and then book out of here in the dark. I'll, I'll probably get the torch going. So another bucket bucket is brilliant so we can break this up with our sword all right i'm going to ignore those for now and get out of here I'm just going going around trying to avoid the uh, Goteras. All right, we've come full circle. It might be harder to recognize. That's where the Gotera lands were. This is where we came in right here. You can always tell by that dead tree up on the little hill right there. I'm going to take a chance, run up here. Hope there's no Goteras. There's one, there's two, they're shooting at me. Oh, look, two buckets. <laughs> I'm really. All right, this was a good stop. I'm glad we made it. You're like, Rainbow, what are you doing? Well, oh, gotta be careful. I can't get hit too much. They're zeroing in on me. So I'm getting too close to the edge. I also want that little axe looking thing. I'm gonna grab it and go. And we're running for it. We're out of here. All right. Very successful. Even better. So the nice thing with the iron is I really want it for the desmelter. But having this uh, built is super handy. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop five in here. Because iron will slow you down when you're running. But now I just need the grass and the wood. I've got 24 of that. So I can go and get enough wood and grass that next time I come by, I, can, I know I can fill this out. And then I've got a couple of iron that I can put toward the smelter. And I'll be able to make a really good ax with that. It's not, this is not a drop. I wouldn't just jump off of it. But if you run down the side like this, you take almost no damage.